Good morning, everyone. I hope everyone has woke up to a beautiful morning. And today is actually Wednesday, and yeah, I just dribbled my coffee, hot coffee, on my toes. That didn't feel too good. But anyways, today is Wednesday, Valentine's Day. So, guess what I did? I'll show you in just a little while. And I hope that you will want to stick around for a little portion of my day. And I'll talk to all of you, yeah, after I clean my feet. Do you remember the fun Valentine's Day socks that I got? That says, I woof you? Yep. I remember to wear them. Yesterday, when we got home from church, this package was at our back door that had been delivered from Amazon. And my husband quickly picked it up and brought it in the house, and I didn't see it again until this morning. So I thought that I would go ahead and I would open it up and, hey, we'll see what he got me. And... Chocolate covered pretzels. Look at that. And there's another something in here. A smaller can. And this is, oh, this is hot cocoa. Isn't that sweet? That was really nice of him. We normally don't do a whole lot on Valentine's Day. Because it's really, like I had said yesterday, it's a fun day. But he knows that I love chocolate. But I wanted to show you what I found for him. But what I found for my husband was a little dog. A little dog that reminded me of Missy May. Because a little white dog, but it has the red ears and the red little eyes, red little nose. I just thought he was really cute. But he sings a little song. something to remind each other that you're important in my life. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that and I'll talk to all of you in just a little while. Hello again everyone. I certainly hope that your day has gone wonderful and I just received a gift from my oldest son David who every Valentine's Day brings me a box of chocolate covered strawberries. So yeah, wonderful, fresh, chocolate covered strawberries. Yum. Anyways, I hope everybody's had a great day and I will talk to you in just a little while. scripture verse for today's devotion is Romans chapter 16 verses 17 and 18. Now I urge you brethren, note those who cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which you learned and avoid them. 
For those who are such do not serve our Lord Jesus Christ, but their own belly, and by smooth words and flattering speech deceive the hearts of the simple. The NIV uses the word naive people instead of simple. Now, this is a warning against false doctrine and for believers to hold fast to the truth of God's word and to protect it at all costs. Paul knew that others would come in after him with smooth talk and impressive speeches, causing divisions and confusion in the church. Notice that in our passage for today, we aren't encouraged to discuss or to try to persuade these people. We are told to have nothing to do with them. This is because deception is a subtle form of trickery. Turning from the truth, even a little, can completely change where you end up. Deception keeps us from being free. It keeps us in the dark. And it holds us there. In John chapter 8, verse 36, Jesus said that the truth you know will make you free. And shortly before that statement, in John 8, verse 31 and 32, he gave the key to the truth. If you abide in my word, then you are truly disciples of mine, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Staying in the word, seeking understanding, and applying these truths will protect your heart from deception. Our responsibility is to guard and protect the truth that we know. The book of Romans tells us about God's grace, freedom from the law, freedom from our sin, and how to walk by the Spirit of God. If the amazing truths of God's word can be stolen or twisted, then we will not experience the freedom that Christ purchased for us. This is why Paul said to watch out, to keep away from anything contrary to the truth. And with that, I want to remind you, life happens. Let's enjoy it. And this is a great reminder for us today to compare everything that we hear and read with the Word of God. If we know the truth, then we cannot be easily fooled and deceived. God bless, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.